Now the big question is, should you sell your XRPs now and buy it back if the markets are going to crash? Understand, we are entering uncharted territories. I have said multiple times in my previous video, we're gonna see a lot of price action. You guys could see that I knew what I was talking about because indeed prices are moving quite a lot. The real question is, are we gonna have a retracement? Let's say to 40 cents area, 45 cents. Well, I was just thinking about it and I see whole 10,000 XRPs, which right now at current prices, around 58 cents that's around six thousand dollars to be more precise five thousand eight hundred dollars at the time of this video xrp is trading at 58 cents let's say you sell all at market price now and you want to buy it back at 40 cents you're gonna gain around four thousand xrps on this transaction but imagine all the pressure all the stress that you're gonna have also because we don't know if the fed is gonna cut the interest rates so my opinion for you right now if you're an xrp holder i would not engage in risky trading, especially with your XRP, because as the US dollar gets even weaker, you can have a massive run for digital assets. But as I said, anything can happen at this moment. I could come here and say, I am 100% sure what's going to happen in the next two months, but that's not the reality. You have too many factors in place. Whoever tells you they know what's going to happen in the next two months, sorry to tell you, but they are lying. I don't think it's a good idea to sell your XRP now and expecting the markets are going to downturn and you're going to be able to buy it back. Because as I said many times, Imagine a black swan event takes place and have instant price appreciation for the ones, the chosen assets that are going to play a massive role in transforming the financial landscape. So you're going to miss on XRP or XLM or XDC because you wanted to increase your bag on 20%, let alone all the headache associated with trying to time the markets. I think that's a huge mistake and you're going to regret. If you want to increase your XRP bag, find ways to bring extra income, bring extra liquidity, side hustle. I don't care. Find a way. And that's the way you're going to increase your bag. I think you should keep your XRPs in cold wallets. I think regardless of the world situation, it's chaotic out there. The recession is coming and depression is coming. But selling your digital assets, I think that's the most risky movement you can take for the both sides. And I think we are at the last stages of the US dollar. To be honest, I don't know if the US dollar is going to survive until the US elections. There's a massive effort from Russia China and Saudi Arabia, BRICS nations are actually becoming increasingly strong. In my opinion, the US dollar has already been dethroned. It's, it's just a matter of unfolding. So the situation is going to unfold. The US dollar is already over. So JP Morgan has said that we are heading towards a depression. It's not going to be just a recession. And in this video, we're going to analyze how that's going to affect digital assets and specifically XRP price. What is the influence of BRICS nations on this process? So right now, it's a very sensitive moment for the US economy. I would say for the global economy in general. So gold has made new all-time high just on the last week. Gold has been breaking new all-time highs, at least on a regular basis, at least on a monthly basis. 2024, that's the new normal. And that signals something very important, that the US dollar is getting weaker by each day. So that was caused by the Saudis that just purchased around 106 tons of gold. It's one of the greatest gold purchases in history. They actually got it straight from Switzerland. And of course, it's not retail investors that are moving the price of gold. As you can see, the new all-time high was triggered by a massive buy order from Saudis. Why this is extremely important? Well, China, Russia and Saudi Arabia, which are all BRICS members, are unleashing hell on earth against the US dollar. And there raises the question, will they manage to crush the US dollar before the US elections? that could have a massive impact on the price of digital assets. A portion of Saudi Arabia oil trade is already being executed in Chinese yen, so it's the Chinese currency. Of course, that's somehow an obstacle for the BRICS nations because if you are trading goods or you have a future contract, let's say within BRICS, so let's say Brazil is selling soybeans to Russia, or let's say that Russia is actually purchasing goods from China, which is very common. In some occasions, Russia has even used gold to bypass the US sanctions, but the problem is that the moment that, let's say, Russia has, receives a payment from Chinese ENs, right? So let's say China makes a large purchase of oil from Russia and they pay in Russia using the Chinese ENs. Well, Russia comes to a point, they say, what can we do with all these Chinese currencies? Either they have used it in future agreements so they can actually use this currency or they can actually say, well, we're going to have to trade it to Russian rubles. Of course, they lose a portion on the transaction fees and also on the currency fluctuation. So that's why BRICS are now working on what's called unit currency. So they're planning to back a unit with gold and a basket of commodities, which can also include OPEC oil. I would say the US economy is terminal stage capitalism. The Fed is once again turning on the printing machines. Let's imagine that the Fed will cut interest rates. 
which I don't think it will happen, okay? But of course, on the short term, that could actually pump assets in general, digital assets. Just looking the last time the Fed has cut interest rates, we had a massive spike on the price of digital assets. However, in my opinion, that could bring gold price to $3,000 overnight. And I don't think the Fed wants that. The Fed, at least on the short term, they want to protect the US dollar, at least until the US elections are done. And then I think we can witness a process of self-destruction of the US dollar, especially as a reserve currency. And that's when enters XRP and the digital assets, because where this is all taking us is actually to CBDC, central bank digital currencies, gain control over transactions. And that's exactly why assets like XRP, XLM, XDC, Yota, Algorand, they have a huge role when we're talking about the pivotal implementation of central bank digital currencies. That's the outcome. We're just heading towards central bank digital currencies. Now, the real question is which black swan event is going to trigger the implementation of central bank digital currencies. That's the goal. Governments are colluded. Establishment who wants to implement central bank digital currencies gain control over every single transaction in the world. That's why they have created Bitcoin at the first place. That's why blockchain technology has emerged. But we have to capitalize on this transformation. And that's why I think the best thing you can do right now is get involved. I think you should dedicate your time to learn about this transformation so you can actually monetize. In the future, you are not enslaved by, and in the future, you will not be a slave to artificial intelligence, to your smartphones, to central bank digital currencies. You can build an alternative system and you can use blockchain technology to leverage your freedom instead of allowing other people to actually use blockchain technology to enslave you. I hope this message clarifies what I expect for the future, what's going to happen in regards to BRICS nations, gold commodities. I'm not very optimistic for the US economy and I think right now is the time to protect yourself with the right investments. So thank you everyone and i see you in the next video.